Hello and welcome to Zero's Comic School and today we have an episode of story time and I hope the lighting is okay. Um, yeah, story time. Story time, Dario Di Donato um, starting to make comics 2014. Um, yeah, let me tell you the year 2014 was so um, I always knew I wanted to make comics or art that's where my talent is and also like in school yeah you can you kind of know and so uh, when I was younger I wanted to make comics didn't have a comic school um, I went to um, a graphic design school or tried to get into a good graphic design school and then I kind of started something different and um, a lot of failures in my teenage years like that's a story time for another video but yeah I think this uh, story time videos will be important so maybe you can relate and take some nuggets with you and uh, don't repeat the mistakes I did or maybe you can relate to the good stuff I did. So then um, I studied, it's called Verpackungstechnik in Germany uh, and for your German viewers I have also a German uh, Darius Comic School, it's called Dario der Comic Zeichner here of YouTube. Um, and I was studying like packaging, engineer of packaging, like really shit. But um, I want to, I, I studied there so I could switch internally to the uh, movie classes. But that, sh that school, I don't know if it was really good. It had a good reputation, but I don't know if somebody is making movies on a school. But long story short, um, then after that, I got kicked out of that school because I failed statistics for the third time um, and it was okay. I felt very relieved. Um, the week I had to study for statistics I was watching The Max, the animated TV show. Um, I was sick, I couldn't really study, nothing fitted into my head. It was kind of October 2009 or something like this. Um, and I was just watching Eon Flux, the animated show, The Max, and Cowboy Bebop, the animated show. And after they kicked me out, I had a chance to go to another movie school. And I made it in. And 2013, I got my bachelor's degree and I had worked already for the movies. And my final how do you say my my v movie for the diploma uh, or for the bachelor was like a animated tv show style like um, a pilot and it was the last pickup artist as an animated show but in the style of uh, uh, adventures times and adventures i don't know how, what's it called it's like adventures and lifetimes of Tim very simple very funny so I kind of did it in that style and I could draw and I could animate and I could voice uh, act it uh, with other people and direct it like that was really my specialty like coming up with an idea writing it and then filling it uh, creating the whole world and then making something animated out of it uh, and so after um we we have now the year 2013 i am a bachelor of arts uh the past six months like were pretty kind of desperate because i was just sitting at a desk and writing a thesis and making a movie but like writing the the thesis and not going to school not seeing anybody was a re very lonely process um um, money was tight because my school was costing 
400 euros a month and so what I earned went into the school and didn't left me with much um, with much else to enjoy which maybe is okay but yeah and so um, I kind of had finished my degree before I had finished my degree I was uh, making helping other people make movies and I was sitting in my room and I had to take a job so that so that uh, money would come in and so I worked for uh, for how do you say German television uh, and it was cool it was fine but I took up a job that wasn't really mine um, not something I was specialized in but I uh, everybody told me fake it till you make it learn on the job which can be kind of cool but sometimes when you get thrown into the cold water with the sharks and you can't swim that's a pretty shitty feeling and it can leave you crippled so I for myself if I would be a director a general a basketball coach a coach of any sorts um, I wouldn't send you into a fight well prepared and with your ego in check so you know you're not the greatest you know what you can do you know what you cannot do and you know how to take the fight or bring your best game to whatever you go um, and so after that uh, I got fired <laughs> which was also really good because um, I had already decided on a movie set that like I was the first to come and the last to go and I was thinking to myself man what am I doing here like searching and preparing uh, stuff for the directors like that's not my real job I always wanted to make comics like and I was like 29 now I'm 37 and I was like questioning the decisions I have made up until that point and I don't know something either clicked or broke or I don't know what it was but I kind of decided I'm gonna do comics and then like luckily I got fired and that job did burn me out like um, this is not like um, the job I was doing um, I was fresh from from school from movie school and uh, I had taken the job that in a previous movie three grown-up men uh, from Berlin who were already in the movie industry and worked there for 10 years I was doing that alone with one or two assistants because it was like kind of low budget but definitely for the German te television and so that's not a not an excuse someone else then took up the job and did a much better job but what I want to say is I wasn't suited for a job uh, maybe I should have known better or maybe someone should have told me um, but I felt kind of pressured to take up the job like from family <laughs> and also like the producer and I said yeah man I'm not a stupid guy I can handle that but I totally couldn't um, I was setting up my horses to fail, setting up my ponies to be slaughtered, if you know what I mean. Um, so um, it's good to know what you're good in and then do that instead of doing some dumb shit where you get burned out. Let me check where we are in the time. Okay, so don't let me make this too long. Um, so I came out of this and I was kind of disappointed oh, it was then um, October uh, or November and I was kind of burned out from the last years of just like studying uh, making money chasing the ladies of the night um, just with life in general it was 2012 I was very concerned about the state of the world with war in Syria, Russia and all of that stuff I was I don't know I was kind of awakening to 
to the world and what is going on and to myself like to my own power it was around the time that i also started to get into a game and pick up and that showed me um, a whole different world view like um, yeah my, my whole world view was crumbling um, in a good sense because uh, in, in one sense it was very fearful because everything up until that point uh, everything I was told seemed to be a lie and on the other side I could feel the empowerment and right on that point I felt like okay the jobs I was promised or I, I, I went into is not really what I was looking for didn't felt really good uh, maybe I was too soft maybe my expectations were wrong and so on I don't want to go into deep uh, into depth but yeah um, and at the same time I was like um, if this pickup stuff is real if like you could train your body you could make money online like if all of that stuff and also my master thesis was, some, was something like um, from recipient from from viewer to producer of content like f uh, YouTube was very new but um, the idea was kind of like um, the media or me the medium of making movies or making content was at the point where it would become very demo democratized like now youtubers have huge followings and it's totally okay and we have netflix but back then all this was in its infancy so i was kind of studying the trend and following the trend and then the whole uh november month i i don't know i sold my league of legends account for 25 or 50 bucks which I was uh, ridiculed by all my friends like and up until that point we were hardcore gamers but I sold that account just to quit gaming like I really had a gaming addiction up until that point like I was sinking in too much time into gaming and I wasn't really living but uh, during my time uh, studying I also was tasting a different life like big city new girls new friendships um and yeah and that opened my horizon to what was possible and up until that point i was really like um i don't know i had still dermatitis all over my body um i was diagnosed with some kind of leukemia shit or something like that some blood illness which later or like 10 years later i think i found out was um due to the way my lifestyle was like uh food that inflamed me a lot of sugar a lot of stress lack of sleep lack of exercise um lack of positive role models and emotions too much sitting in front of the computer uh, just stuffing my face with sweets and well pretty like what's that that's like the timmy life the the jeffrey life the life of a chode and um and i dreamed of being a chad <laughs> yeah and then i sold my, my league of legends account and kind of broke or burned those bridges um and i wanted to create a new dario a much healthier dario and I got myself like a Tony Robbins book, Awaken the Giant Within, classic, 2000, uh, end of 2013. And I got myself um, a Stephen Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, uh, which is really a really, really good book um, on how your habits shape or how your identity and habits shape. Well maybe you first imagine your identity then you imagine the habits this identity has and then doing becomes being then a really good book was like um Eckhart Tolle uh, a new earth awakening to a life's purpose and I was reading this and everything I found in this was like okay 
my life up until this point was very tra traumatizing but I have a gift I can draw I can write I can color I can create content um, I could do comics and maybe earn a living doing that and I got myself also the invisibles from Grant Morrison and up until the time like I was just studying and searching what is it that I need and uh, the pickup community, which is kind of self-help stuff. Um, this is where I got the Eckhart Tolle book from. Owen Cook recommends it. And um, also the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And then I watched a different, uh, how do you say, like which comics you need to read. And I got myself also the Making Comics uh, by um, Scott McCloud. And so I did set myself up for a fresh beginning for the next 10 years of my life to become someone who makes comics and who earns a living off that and can create a good, new, healthy life. And yeah, then I just started doing with kind of an idea. I, I wanted to make uh, a first comic and then send it to bub publishers and it was a comic um, called De Beseitiger, like he's um, a garbage man, um, but he used to work for the Italian Mafia here in Germany, um, kind of in the 2000s. And I was very into the Mafia and gangster stuff. And I did do a bunch of stuff how do you say, um, yeah, storyboards, a bunch of storyboards, a lot of writing, a lot of characterization, and um, I didn't know at the time, I mean, I was doing the right stuff, but it was just too early, too much, like really, really, um, some really good, like I could have done a movie, but I wasn't ready, or I could have done a great comic, but I wasn't ready to handle all those stages. And while I was doing that, I was pretty much alone because like while I was studying, I had my friends in Stuttgart. And when I came back, um, I had kind of like a lot of my um, old friends have had mo moved on. And so I was kind of working in a w vacuum, kind of lonely. Um, I, I I had money or some money, but I didn't spend it too much. I was very um, getting kind of back into my fortress of solitude. And um, like there were parties at Christmas, but I didn't went. I was very solitary in that time. And I would think I was, I would say that wasn't very healthy. But I didn't know at that time. And so um, I was just constantly working under a lot of pressure because I just wanted to get this comic done or at least a good concept, um, send it to publisher and then get out um, of my mom's place. And I did put myself under a lot of pressure, too much pressure. And today I would do it differently. Um, and yeah due to not knowing what really to do which is okay but that's why i make this video so you don't have to do this these mistakes um and let me see where we are now okay okay pretty 20 minute mark i don't know how long i will make this let's talk a minute or five um and Then I kind of relapsed to Hearthstone and I was playing and deinstalling uh, or uninstalling Hearthstone. <laughs> it was kind of like playing, working and seeing nobody. A very vicious cycle of putting a lot of work pressure on yourself while at the same time seeing nobody. Um, like friends, family or stuff like that and kind of taking 
I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain, but yeah, and, and Christmas and Sylvester, I guess, or how do you call it, like, New Year, New, New Year, um, I didn't, I was invited to Berlin to party there, or to friends to go to a disco, but I stayed alone at home, which, again, wasn't really good, but, yeah, I don't know, really unhealthy, um, and so, I guess I will make a second video, but um, then I started into Janu January and I started getting out again with friends because, yeah, I started, um, I ditched the big project, uh, like this huge graphic novel or a big comic, and instead uh, uh, focused on one pagers. Uh, one page comics and then shorter pages like eight page content um, and yeah and at the end of January I had focused and made a bunch of artwork uh, which I can link down below um, which now maybe is old or I don't know if it's that good, but I was posting it on Facebook and back then Facebook was more populated and a lot of my old professors uh, which were involved in the movie industry were watching that or also like uh, involved into anim animation industry. And so um, they saw what I was making and they re referred me to uh, some movie companies which were seeking storyboard artists and they contacted me and they told me man do you want to do storyboard for us uh, like we invite you to munich uh, we will pay you a salary of a thousand euros as a trainee and give you uh, a place to stay you don't have to pay which back then in my uh, ears sounded kind of bad like a thousand euros and stay there to be a trainee but man paying rent in a big city is expensive so I would have paid a minimum of 500 euros anyway so maybe not so bad for a guy who was pretty green but maybe I was stupid, maybe I was arrogant, maybe I was afraid. Uh, maybe at the time I was watching Don't Mess With The Sohan and there's the one scene where um, Sohan, um, an Israeli um, secret agent, agent flees to the United States because he wants to be a hairdresser and before he can realize his dream, he works in an electronic store. And someone tells him, look, look at all these guys here in the electronic store. Um, they, uh, they wanted to, everybody wanted to do his own thing. But then they became compliant or some things didn't pan out. And the electronic store kind of crushed their dreams and they didn't get out. And so I was thinking, man, if I go now back to movies or to storyboards, I will be swayed away from doing comics. And so I turned that job down um, and focused on comics and Patreon. And that's where I will stop this video. And then I will continue and make the 2014, I hope, 20 minutes long. So you can watch this part and the other part. And yeah, see you till the next video.